Good morning. <laughs> For somebody that woke up like more than an hour ago, aka before my alarm went off right now, um, I sound quite rough. Uh, I'm just finishing off my Starbucks that I gifted myself yesterday. Um, this was a good idea, but I kept trying to drink it on the bus. So this is the lavender latte. I would say if I was getting this one again, I would get an extra shot in it because it just tastes like a lavender milkshake. Mm. So just called down to ask them to come and pick up my bags. Um, and she was like, are they ready just now? I was like, not quite, give me about 30 minutes. So I need to try and make sure I'm ready in. 30 minutes uh, with the bags ready. So um, this big water bottle is gonna have to go in. So I should maybe try and drink some of that. But them coming and getting the bags means I don't have to walk them all the way down there, which is much nicer. I think you'll agree. We're aiming to do a similar plan to yesterday. Jess has been delayed again. So our plan is sli <laughs> slightly changed. We were both gonna go and rope drop this morning. I'm like, I'm kind of, Oh, I'm so torn. There's too many options. Disney, there's too many options. It's like when you're on a Disney cruise. Too many options. Um, yeah, I'm so like, oh, I could do this and I could do that and I could do this. But I did actually really enjoy the process yesterday. It was really chill. Um, and so I think I'm going to sort of do similar again, but make sure that I get a cinnamon roll from Gaston's Tavern this time. And then I'm really tempted because she's going to be like fairly late um <laughs> compared to i mean she was meant to be here at six o'clock last night or landing at six o'clock last night so here about what they like, it's at 7 38 um and she's now gonna land at 10 to 1 today which is ridiculous i get that it's weather and we can't help it but yeah so i should probably stop chatting and start getting ready because that would make more sense um but yeah i will catch up with you i say what we'll do we'll do like we did yesterday do a little get ready with me <laughs> I'm now just basically like prioritising things that need to go in the bag. So we brush the teeth, now we need to brush the hair. Normally I wouldn't oh, brush my hair after putting my top on because my hair molds, but we kind of need to because I need to put my hair brush. I hope it's not one of these I said 30 minutes, so they're going to be like an hour. I'll probably end up redoing this like a thousand times because it never sits in terribly well with these hair ties but at least I'll off my neck and it's a nice easy and quick hairstyle if you've watched the vlogs before you'll know that we mainly are um, pigtails and space buns because I can't stand my hair being in my face or being sweaty. And yes, I do use the tiny, tiny children's hair ties because my hair is so thin, which you'll have seen from me plaiting it yesterday. So yeah, so I've just made a hot coffee. So we can dive into that in a second. Oh, that's a good one. Right, hairbrush is done, so hairbrush can be packed now. And then I'll show you that outfit. Almost forgot the uh, umbrella, because I put it out to dry. That shows you how big this room is, that like, I've got two pieces of luggage. It's got two beds in it. And it's, well, I technically, I suppose one's folded away, but even if that one was down, I would have still been able to put that umbrella out thanks to the way they've like shaped it or else it would have gone in here actually. I haven't really put anything in here. <sighs> I will unpack at the next resort. I've got the like adrenaline shakes right now. Right. I really like today's outfit. We've got the classic mini t-shirt with the black like sports skirt which has two side pockets. No, just one side pocket. So the phone will go in this side pocket in the shorts. I haven't put my shoes on yet, but they are my white thingies. But I put socks on and my feet feel a little bit better. I mean, they're not like 100% better. Um, but you'll see why I'm wearing this top in a second. You ready? I just realized they still have the tag on. So 
so I will stop by the front desk. But yes, we we match. See, I mean you can't really you can't do better than that. I knew there was a reason I wanted to bring scissors. longer than I thought so now I'm on a boat and we'll see what I do next I have to say leaving the park was a bit of a nightmare because everyone was coming in and I was trying to get out it wasn't it wasn't conducive you do know I do know about everything about the general world not everything but I do know the she's finally here
So when we come in, you know we're at the boardwalk. Love that artwork. And then we have beautiful full-length mirror just here. Bathroom over there. And then we have microwave, dual Keurig, toaster, paper towels, trash, and an actual fridge. Actual fridge. Exciting. I haven't really taken this bit in yet. Cool. Coffee cups, bowls, can opener, essential, and a bottle opener, even more essential. What we got over here? Oh, so we got coffee for the filter coffee and then coffee for the Keurig as well. And then big fancy wardrobe, big fancy bed, nice big bedside table. The bedside tables at All Star were lacking somewhat. There were plenty of them, they were just tiny. Love that. Newly renovated headboard, bolster cushion, nice rug. And then this folds down. But look, Jess, this is gonna be you and me. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the balcony. This is another bed, big TV. I like that surface there. Well, I suppose it's not a balcony, it's a patio, because we're on the first floor. And that's the pool bar. Most importantly, here's our patio. There's the pool bar. And then this is the bathroom. It's a roll-in shower. Very cute, very cute. And then single sink, toilet, rails. Just gorgeous. So back at the lovely boardwalk, freshly showered now after a day of rope dropping Magic Kingdom, hitting a total wall with my jet lag, hanging out at the Polynesian with that doll whip and uh, getting to try Trader Sam's and the Steakhouse 71 for the first time. Like this is a big try new things trip for me um, as well. And so, yeah, it was good. Even if I did, yeah, hit the wall with the jet lag. But the fact that Magic Kingdom park hoppers were unavailable yesterday shows you just how busy it was like rope drop was busier when i went back to the parks later the fact that i could only do one show it tells you an awful lot but yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next disney vlog coming your way very soon um and yeah i will see you with my next video thanks for watching